fill up real fast. All right, well, we just hit the red dirt, so I'm gonna start airing down and um, getting ready for the corrugation. Later that same evening. Yeah, we can't be hurt. This is like six handed dentistry, Is that a thing? Scalpel. Yeah. Three people. <laughs> Scalpel. <Scalpel>. Clear. Clear. <laughs> Shock. <Boom. laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh. 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 Wow, oh, that's oh. it. Do you reckon the shaft? Thanks to Dave, by the way. He works yeah. at a chainsaw shop. Used to. Used to. Used to. Yeah. I do lube now. <laughs> oh, hang on. Is it the cord? So the Just made it to the tele track. We've got the coal crew here. We've got my car, Arthur's car, Sam's car, Matt's car. Everyone's here. We got Palm Creek first, so it should be good. Alright guys, it's day two of the telly. We're going to go down to Palm Creek, dig out the rest of what we need to dig out because it's pretty deep at the moment and there's a bit of mud holes, but um, we're going to put some logs in there and hopefully that will give us traction. So we'll go down and dig it out. So, we're on our way to the entrance. We're making a new entrance, got the shovel. I'm going to dig it out a bit because it's a pretty steep approach angle and um, the boys are already making the exit for us with match tracks and everything so I'll fix this up and then I reckon we'll be second or third car down. Well the boys are up we're into a I'm gonna rebuild the whole of Palm Creek with logs on the bottom cover it in dirt fingers crossed this one maybe just sit that one there and we'll just dig a little slot in next to this one so this is the plan logs all the way across this is just slop <clears throat> fill it in with logs all the way cover it all up with dirt max tracks on top and we've built a really nice exit so fingers crossed with palm creek the entrance is pretty gnarly and the creek's pretty deep so Hopefully all goes well, hopefully I've done everything right. Winch is already out, ready to go. But um, yeah, I'll just engage lockers and hope for the best, really.
All right, so we just finished Palm Creek. We all got ourselves up. We all max tracks, made like a max tracks highway. So um, we all got up that pretty well. After that, we've made our way a few from a little, there's little crossings we've done, not big ones. I did put um, a bit of footage in here of them. Now we're making our way up the track. So far, so good. Like the track at the moment is like all pretty flat at the moment. But yeah, Palm Creek was crazy. Like we went, over oh, the went, went over the bonnet and I've got four inch and 35s and it's patrol, so it's pretty serious. But in saying that, the LS was awesome. Like the LS petrol motor, supercharged, didn't miss a beat at all. It was, yeah, it, was, it went really well. So yeah, we'll keep making our way. So we're on our way down to Fruit Bat Falls. We just made it, had some lunch. And um, yeah, we're gonna go for a nice swim and see how it is. What do you reckon? <laughs> Sweet. Bloody hell. All right, so I'm having dramas with my battery system. It's just not getting enough charge. Can't run the inverter, can't really cook food. So, we're on the telly track at the moment. I'm going to <laughs> wire my battery system again, and I've stolen wire from my solar panel. So, um, yeah, just, I'll show you guys this. So pretty much my plan right now is to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Anderson where I've originally gone. I'm gonna Anderson plug there on the back of the alternator run it to the main battery and then fuse it and then terminate these so hopefully this works because yeah i've got um no power and my fridges are dying so hopefully this works problem is right now i feel like the alternator can't keep up with the fuel pumps it's yeah. got twin pumps in there it's got thermo fans it's got a few different pieces but hopefully this works i'm just going to put it back over to the main instead of the yep. alternator and if so I'll be able to keep the food cold and won't have to harass you for your inverter. Oh, so you're running your battery system straight off the alternator battery? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, right. Yeah, so now I'm going so to go over to main. So that can be a bit of a slave, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go over to main now and see if that just works. But, yeah. I feel like it's an earthing issue. My main problem is I think it's like an earthing issue because it's earth to the motor. I don't yep. know how good the motor earth is, mm. but... um. Problem is we're driving a lot, but it is harsh conditions out here. Even me, I turned my one of my fridges off last night because it's so hot. It actually, your fridge is working a lot harder than it would if you were more down south. Um, so everyone's sort of weary of battery, solar, make sure you get enough driving each day to charge stuff. So it was a bit touch and go yesterday because we were waiting for Matt to come and we were sitting at yeah. a campsite for like bloody almost 24 hours, like yeah, a whole day yeah. and night. It's there for so a while. Now I'm back charged up, but yeah, it's all about maintaining it. Otherwise, Alice is going good though. Yeah, it's actually Didn't miss well. fly for any crossings? No, it hasn't missed fly at all. It's been pretty good, like it has like, it hasn't missed the beat so far, apart from the trailing arm. But, um, <laughs> yeah, we won't talk about that. <laughs> yeah, we won't go into that yet. But, um, yeah, other than that, it's been really well. Actually, yeah, it's been really good. Yeah. It's good having the power Stoke. on the tracks, but, um, very, very, very happy with the LS. I was like, before this trip, I was like, well, oh, how do they go into water? Like, search on forums and stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, they go like a champ. I like hear it and I miss mine. I'm like, oh, LS, what? <laughs> Day three on the telly track. We've just come to Cypress, Cypress Bridge. Bridge. Cypress Bridge. Cypress so um, yeah, we kind of got here, and Ooh. this is happening right now. Can he can he left hand down and drive straight? Problem is this log kicks. Yeah, people left it will kind of bring the front around. He might just screw his front around and yeah. straighten the trailer up a bit. I think if you. 
Yeah, one car's already through, so makes me feel a bit better. They come through with the trailer, so next is um, Maddie's up. Let's see how he goes. He's like six ton combined, so we'll soon see. Hopefully he's alright. It's just where the log right. kicks right there is a bit scary part. We even know you're going straight, the log kicks. So anyway, he's coming now, so we'll get out of his way. All right, well, now it's mine and Sam's go to do Cypress Bridge. How are you feeling about it, man? Yeah, oh, no, you see a few cars do it and you're like, sweet. So yeah. you basically just got to trust your spotter, not yourself. Yeah. Alright, so we made it to Gunshot, so what's actually happened is they've dug a fair bit out to make it more drivable. There's still hard, hard lines over there. They're pretty crazy though, it would be a winch down job. And um, with my car, I've got a rehump stump, so if I go too much angle, starve the motor and... Well, as you guys have seen, I've just freshly rebuilt the motor, so I've only got 2,000 Ks on it. So, we don't want to do that. But, we're going to go do this line, and then there's a little crossing just over there. So that is going to be the plan. But we're going to send Aka first. He's coming down now and see how we go. happened is is Akka's come down and he's actually coming to the bank and his doors are on the bank and he can't just get out of the hole because he's got no front locker this is quite muddy so he's come towards into the wall and he's on his doors at the moment so we're gonna get some max tracks and hopefully we can get him out How deep she is. Apparently far left is the line to take.
parked up and then all my gearbox tunnel just started waterfalling into everywhere. Came out the center. Yeah, man. How do you feel about this? We've finished the tele track, we're on our, back, on our way back to the PDR right now. I did get stuck at Nolan's and the car actually did flood a bit, but um, that's all right, it's all part of the fun. But no, it was honestly awesome. The tele track was good to finish and I'm um, very happy with it. So now we'll get out to the PDR and make our way to Bamaga. It was a challenge for you, for everyone, for Aka, all the crew. Epic, epic adventure. Um, now we're boosting back. Well, a couple are going home and then we're continuing on to Fink. So we're going from the tip out to the desert. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, we'll be doing some desert action. Some cold nights coming up and a whole heap of racing and horsepower. That's what I'm keen for. Yo.